Hello and welcome to Nursing School Chronicles, brought to you by the University of Texas Medical Branch School of Nursing. My name is Lauren Homan and I am the recruiter here at UTMB SOM. And it is my honor to be able to chat with current and prospective students. This podcast is a resource that has been created for current prospective students and anyone interested in nursing school. Each episode will cover a different subject. Enjoy. Hello and welcome to UTMB Nursing School Chronicles. I am your host, Lauren Homan, and I am joined by three incredible student ambassadors today. I want you all to introduce yourselves and tell us what semester you're in. Liam, pick it on you. Who <laughs> Tell us who you are. I'm glad I made eye contact with you. Uh, <laughs> my name is Liam DeVasal, and I'm a fourth semester uh, nursing student. Yay, Mel. And I'm Melisandric Dumampo. I'm a fourth semester student as well. And last but not least. Yeah, I'm Morgan. I am a fourth semester. I'm Morgan Holford, a fourth semester student as well. Yay. They are ending their journey Yay. in a Done. few days. Who's excited? Woo. Can't believe it. It's wild. <laughs> Counting down the seconds, right? Trying not to be too excited. <laughs> Three days now? Or? Who's counting? (laughs) Mel has an alarm to go off. (laughs) Um, So today we're going to be talking about clinical experiences, uh, which I think is a very unique part of our program. We integrate our uh, clinicals uh, as early as four weeks into the program, and our students are in clinicals throughout the entire time. So um, obviously a really big part of learning, taking what you're learning in the books and kind of applying it. Um, so I guess just to get started, um, Morgan, can you tell us the different sites you've gone to throughout your time with us? Yeah. Um, so first semester, uh, I was MD Anderson, um, awesome. in a melanoma sarc- sarcoma floor. Second semester for, uh, our adult two, I was in TDCJ, which is the jail hospital yep. on campus mm-hmm. or yeah, on campus. Yeah. And then um, <laughs> for psych, I was at the VA. Um, awesome. Amazing. And then uh, third semester, I was at Memorial Hermann Children's TMC for PD. And then for OB, I was at LBJ. Wow. And then for adult three, I got to go to Memorial Hermann um, for critical care, Memorial Hermann TMC. And then I was uh, for Capstone, uh, which is our last clinical, I was at uh, Memorial Hermann Children's again. So. Yeehaw. Yeah. Lots of experience. Lots of experience. (laughs) Liam, where were your sites? So I started off right here at Jenny uh, Seeley for my first uh, rotation. And then I went adult two also at TDCJ and psych also at the VA with Morgan. Awesome. Then for... Did you follow Morgan that way? A little bit, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Stalker. It's a recurring problem. (laughs) But uh, then at for pediatrics, I actually got a chance to go to the mm-hmm. summer camp. They have a summer camp for um, children with disabilities oh, or different health. That's awesome. You know, complications. Yeah. Uh, they have a special camp that kind of caters to those needs, allowing them to have that experience. Wow. I was able to do that. Awesome. Peds. OB, I was back here at UTMB. Okay. And then for critical care, Memorial Hermann and the uh, main campus, TMC. And then for Capstone. I shadowed at the Memorial Hermann Southwest Emergency Room. Awesome. Lots of places, too. Yeah. Wide variety. <laughs> Mel, last but not least. Yes, <laughs> let me try to remember. Yeah, that's a um, lot. <laughs> so first semester, I was in UTMB, Jenny Seeley, okay. um, at Surge Floor. And then second semester, I was in Baylor St. Luke's. Awesome. In the Nero um, Med Surge Floor over there. And then for psych, I was in the VA as well. Awesome. That's a really interesting site to be yes. for psych too. For sure. That's very, really awesome. Very interesting. Yeah. And then in for peds, I was in um, MD Anderson. Okay. And um, for pop health, I was here in St. Vincent's, our student clinic. Yeah. And um, for OB, um, Sugarland Methodist. Okay. Yes, that was good. <laughs> and then for critical care, we did our critical care all together. Oh no way. Me, Morgan, Groupies. and Liam, of course, <laughs> in Memorial Hermann. Yeah. TMC. And then, of course, ending it off with Capstone at yes. HCA, Clear Lake. Okay. Yes, and cool. Telly. 
Awesome. Mm-hmm. So, we, well, we forgot uh, our pop health because we're the worst. Uh, Y'all are fired. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fired. That started with me. My bad. <laughs> um, yeah, we were actually both at uh, Christina Sullivan Foundation and we got awesome. to play tennis uh, with special needs kids. Oh, Super fun. I love that. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So, uh, I think that's really cool, obviously, showing that our students are not just going to the same hospital every rotation. Oh, yes. um, so, not only are you changing units, you're changing. Facilities. Hospitals, pretty yeah. much, yeah. Um, if you want to, you can get uh, an opportunity. Uh, later on, you get to do preferences. And if right. you want to, you can have an opportunity to work in most all the systems. That's crazy. I wanted to work at Memorial Hermann, so right. I definitely had, like, more. Um, you were trying to push for I, Herman. Yeah, more. I pushed right. for Herman. I always ranked it first. So right. that was a lot of my experience. But for the most part, I think you can work in, uh, and do your clinicals once you can prioritize them where you want. That's awesome. You get a lot of say in that. Yeah, and you get to yeah. see the systems. I think it's really important. Um, yeah, see who kind of jives with Yeah, they're, you. they're all so different. Right. Um, they, they do things differently, uh, right. even in the way that the standards of care and, and the skills we learn, they right. do them differently. And the culture. The different. Oh, for sure. Like yeah. the work environment. It's right. like different yeah. from one facility sure. to another. Right. And it's like, yeah. And that's what's cool. To see. Yeah, and that's what's cool about clinicals is you're kind of – Testing the waters, kind of sampling, yes. mm-hmm. uh, kind of to see where you want to work after, mm-hmm. what organization, right. and what unit. Yeah. Um, so my favorite question that I'm going to be asking today, mm-hmm. walk me through your very first day of clinical. Yeah. Okay. And the feeling. Start with the it. feeling. Yeah. What was the feeling? Yeah. So um, <laughs> notably, a lot of our clinicals are um, – oftentimes off the island right and so um even like the prep I had stayed at a friend's house the night before and you know I set up my clothes and I'm did you know, your like, hair it's very <laughs> much the first day of school yeah yeah the first day of school feeling and you roll in and I was in MD Anderson and uh the med center is really daunting and I don't know you know I, got, I think I got there like 5 45 like it was very early <laughs> yeah obnoxiously early and um uh, oftentimes, especially I think first semester, uh, the clinical faculty will give you a bit of a tour or they drop each person off at their unit, um, one by one. And they kind of, you follow like ducklings, um, right. all the way through the units until right. you find yours right. and, um, drop you off at school, right? <laughs> truly, um, yeah, I never felt more like a kindergartner than the first day of clinical. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, I had never been in a hospital. I was a teacher before this, didn't, um, didn't have any experience and I think that was my biggest thing was like I am in a cancer hospital um, and these people behind my doors oh my gosh they must be so sick and frail and it was really scary like I was scary it was it's quiet on the floor at six o'clock in the morning and people are kind of uh I wasn't there at six o'clock I guess but people are there's nurses are all in one area doing their change of report and Mm -hmm. um it was just really intimidating because it's quiet and you're like, what is behind these doors? Like, what am I about <laughs> Should I be to afraid? Into? Right. Yeah. And so uh, I think it was just getting over like the first initial, like, all right, these are our patients. This is what's going on. And then we're going to walk into their rooms. And I was like, oh, dear God. I don't uh, know. My name is. Uh, I'm not ready for this, right? like, <laughs> what's my name? Hi, Morgan, and I'm going to be a student nurse today. <laughs> It was just so scary. And I've right. been, I'm like, I've been a, a nursing student for five weeks right. and you expect Not very me to long, do right? what? Right. <laughs> and the joke, I, I ended up kind of, li- I, I like to use humor and I ended up kind of every day, it made me feel more comfortable. I would introduce myself and tell them because I didn't want them to expect too much of me because I genuinely right. did not know anything. Right. But my joke was, I can't do a lot, but I can get you a warm blanket and I can get you some water. And that was kind of my joke. Yeah. But I, I, I held on to that joke for dear life. <laughs> every, You're I saving you, grace, Every right? single one of my patients got that joke and I felt like I was establishing that, like, I want to help you. I don't know what I'm doing. Please let Bear me with help me you right. where I can. Right. And mm-hmm. I think giving that, and I also told my nurse that I would tell her I, I don't know what I'm doing, and I just yeah. I felt like the sh- like I would feel less shame and embarrassment right. if I was straight up right away. Right. So yeah. that just was, address the elephant in the room. I genuinely was like, <laughs> look, we're we're bare bones right here. <laughs> we don't know anything, and uh, I learned so much because I was clear about what I knew. So right. yeah. transparency. Anyway, that was the feeling I got in right. to the first. And were you like skipping out when you oh finished gosh. that day? By the end of it, I'm answering call bells. <laughs> and like, what do you need? 
water, one blanket. Yeah, uh, yeah, right. all, the whole time. And uh, but I did. I felt a lot more confident. And right. um, I think there's being vulnerable and being um, honest about what you don't know. Like mm-hmm. no nurse is going to be like, yeah, I'm sure that person who is a first semester student knows how to do a lot. They right. they know you don't right. know anything. Right. When we graduate nursing school, we don't know a lot. Of it. <laughs> right. So, uh-huh. um, but so they they there's no hiding it right. you don't need to pretend you know more than you do right. just yeah. be honest with what you know right. and uh and you learn so much more than just way. be a sponge uh now spongebob <laughs> <laughs> i love that <laughs> now mel what 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 was your feeling going into that first rotation was your heart racing it was it was like <laughs> so much mixed um emotions yeah like on one side i was really nervous like i haven't been to hospital before right. i mean not before I mean, <laughs> i've have been never to, like i have not been hospitalized right. like and i hope it you know, stays now <laughs> right, <not> eight, <laughs> right and i've never worked in the hospital right. before so just that thought of like intimidation the unknown, you know like right. like what am i getting in into like, right ah, that's just like yeah but i was also really excited like right. just to just to like, see everything how right. like how everything operates and stuff but yeah I did, but i didn't get to sleep like that first night, I so bet. that was already bad start. Like, Did you drink a lot of coffee that morning on the way? I in? was just fueled by coffee. Like it was coffee the only fear. thing. <laughs> coffee and fear, yeah. yes, and slight excitement. Like yeah. that's that's really what kept me going. Right. But yeah, I was like the prep before was like so I don't know it was so much. Like, Did you pack your lunch and yes. iron your scrubs? Oh my god, my meal prep was on point. But like I was like, how should I say hello to to the nurse? Like the hello and thank like, you for taking say howdy me. or like. Like, keep it like you know. I don't know. Sweet, I don't know. <laughs> Can I hug you? Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> oh my god! But yeah, like those thoughts, just you know, like you, just you don't want to make a mistake. Yes. And, right. And not just that. It's just like it was like um, you don't know what's gonna happen, so you kind of like prep yourself for all these situations. But right. I guess like once you get into it, like you just keep the ball rolling, and then. You get more things, comfortable. Yeah, you get you get more comfortable, and right. then I think we followed um, PTTs first, right? Um, for oh, the yeah, first, I forgot about that. <laughs> first Oops. two weeks, yes. I think. Yes, and um, for me, my goal was really to like really familiarize myself with like the hospital and like the equipment. Like yeah. some of these equipment, I don't even like know the <gasps> name. What is like, this machine? Even like a fitted <laughs> sheet. Like I don't know. Like wh- where is that? Like where is it? Like, oh my gosh! <laughs> right. Like stuff like that, and right. then also like just communicating with the patient so those were right. my, my two main goals like coming in like in my first few weeks of clinicals just mm-hmm. you know familiarizing and then right. really building that rapport with patients right. and especially because you are just starting nursing school too so exactly. like it's not just first day clinical it's like you mm-hmm. just started a very difficult journey period right. and now mm-hmm. you're in an unfamiliar setting yeah mm-hmm and feeling a little nervous. Really nervous. <laughs> yeah. But really excited for what's ahead, right? Yes. Right. Yes. But you, you do learn a lot. Like, the nervousness kind of goes away, like, throughout the day. Right. But Because, you know, you I, like you said, like, you are, like, sponges. You learn so much. Right. And, and like, you kind of forget about school even because right. you're just so dead on. You're on um, a cloud somewhere in, a cloud in so clinical land. Right, <laughs> yes. And, you know, you're you're in real life, like, right. in a real life hospital. Like, right. And you're, you have your patient in These front of These are real, alive people. This is not mannequins anymore. <laughs> right. So, you know, this is right. the real thing. Right. And, yeah. But, yeah, that was exciting, but at the same time, really nerve-wracking. Right. Liam, mm-hmm. were you were you afraid? Or were you yeah. bold? Oh, no, definitely afraid. <laughs> uh, the, the anticipation was the worst part. Right. I remember walking up to the hospital that day. And was, I had no idea what to expect. First clinical, first day pretending to be a nurse or <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> trying to get into my mind that I will be a nurse. Right. Um, and you get there and everyone kind of looks at you, the, the patients at least, like you know what's going on. You're in the scrubs, you're in the uniform. The burnt orange scrubs. The burnt orange the scrubs. beautiful just, burnt oh. orange scrubs. <laughs> ended up being a saving grace. They were very identifiable. <laughs> yes, so everyone they are. after like two weeks they knew you were a student. They yeah. didn't expect too too much from <laughs> you, but you know, they, this kid's mediocre, right. so no. <laughs> At best. <laughs> I'll I'll ask him to do some things, but nothing that is uh, cold water and warm blankets. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Take note from Morgan. <laughs> Pretty um, much. But no, it was it was good. Uh you learn quickly as long as you're there and willing to learn and 
with the anticipation that you're probably not going to be that great at it to start with, right? you will pick it up fast and people will be more than willing to work with you and get you to that point where you feel comfortable. Right. Um, I think something that Mel said, it's the kind of thing where you get into the flow and if you kind of let go of the the fear and just kind of like let it happen, right. you do like the day passes and suddenly you're more comfortable mm-hmm. and then the next shift you're terrified again, and then <laughs> by 9 a.m. The a. cycle. <laughs> right, because the thing is, like, 9 a.m. is med, or 8 a.m. is med pass. Like, it's yeah. busy. I know my patients, especially on a med surge floor where you've got four patients uh, more, if you're lucky, unlucky, depending on how you look at it. Right. Um, and you're busy, and you have no, I had no idea. I was like, there are a lot, I couldn't open the pill packets. Like, it was a <laughs> mm-hmm. disaster. Someone got scissors. Like, oh, yeah, <laughs> they are harder They're than you think. so hard. <laughs> yeah, to, my nurse to get, give me a tricks little, they, you learn the little, like, nursey pro life tips. Right. Um, but, uh, yeah, then it's noon, and you're like, yeah. oh, my gosh, it's I noon. did this. I did that. I did that, and it's done. Right. Uh, that part's done. And then you just, you, it's such a methodical day that, mm-hmm. yeah, by the end of it, you're like, I got this. I can be a nurse today. Right, yeah. <laughs> can't. You can't. Don't do Hire that. me now. <laughs> no. Um, but I think that was a big element to it. And uh, I did want to mention something that uh, I wonder if was the same with y'all. Uh, sometimes clinical, like different floors are, we all had such different experiences at different hospitals. But mm-hmm. I know that there were times that, my clinical faculty would be like, all right, walk up to your floor. And I, the, the charge nurse would be different from the last week. And I didn't know anyone. And I had to be like, hi, I'm your nursing student for today. And please nine, don't eat me. Right. No. Nine <laughs> times out of 10, they'd be like, what? what <laughs> I'm like, I, I know someone told someone, like, I know there has been communication, but I'm looking at you and you clearly didn't get that communication and you are surprised by my presence. And I need you to put me somewhere. Yeah. And so I do like, that's one thing that won't happen your first day. But like, I wonder if you guys had that experience of just kind of having to advocate for like, I am on your floor today. I'm here to help. I've been with this person before, this person before, and this is the skills I can do. Mm-hmm help me. Right. Um, help and, me help you. Right. And that's kind of, I wonder if, did you guys ever get that experience on floors? Cause there were floors that like weren't terribly excited to see me. <laughs> well, well here in UTMB, I mean, they know. Like, right. Of course. They know, <laughs> they know, like, they know better. They right. <laughs> right. Yeah. But yeah, like other, other hospitals, like, yeah, they got surprised. Like, oh, oh, we have a student, like, and I've been working night shifts since like, um, semester three. Oh, gosh. And they were like, oh, they send nursing students during nights? Like, this is my first time. I was like, okay. Like, <laughs> all right. Yeah. I have, like, I'm here now. Right, but I'm here like, to learn. I, like, I don't know what to say. I'm I here. Like, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, you do get those experiences. Yeah. Yeah. You just have to, like, advocate for yourself and be like, look, I I want to help. I know you're not super excited, but right. I'm, I'm here to be as helpful as I can. Right. So, mm-hmm. but. Absolutely. Well, and, and the first time is always the worst. When you get there little nervous you don't know what to expect yes you got to go and talk to people yeah. who you've never talked mm-hmm. to before yeah it helps when you're if you have a, another nursing student on your floor and you both walk up but oh, like yeah. there <laughs> you both feel awkward right, together right, right. but you're like <laughs> right. uh, there was a time that me and my nurse got or my nursing student buddy we got locked out of the pd oh, stop. You. and i was like okay well now we're here on the outside. <laughs> Everyone's in there, and i don't know right. what to do you know but right. those are the kind of things that like you don't you just kind of have to be go with the flow and be comfortable, yes. like speaking up and saying, "Hi, I need your help. Can you please mm-hmm. let me in, or right. can you put me with someone?" Or right, anything. and like never take things personally. Right. Like if if the nurse is not able to like accommodate you that day, like you know, like don't take it personally. Right. It's not like a rejection, <laughs> yeah. right. like of yourself, but. It was, I mean, don't, you don't know what happened to them. Right. Or, and they're stressed, yeah. too. No, exactly. Right. And, like, y- it, oftentimes, like, it would feel like they didn't want, like, if they came and I was like, I'm the nursing student, and everyone was, like, like trying not to make <laughs> eye contact Keep with the charge down. nurse, like, do not right. give her to me kind of thing. <laughs> mm-hmm. And you do. You want to take it personally. But, like, I, I really tried to remind myself that, one, not everyone wants to be a teacher that day. They could have had – this could be their fourth of four days kind exactly. of thing. Right. Yeah. But also um, – I, you still learn a ton on those days. Mm-hmm. If, if they're being a jerk, then uh, you're learning what not to do. Right. You know? I mean, <laughs> right. you're learning yeah. how, like, right. how you feel as a nursing student that you don't want to do that in the future. Right. So, so when you get a nursing exactly, student, potentially. Right. we're all, all going to. But right. it's every, I think you have to, like, every single little moment of the day is a learning experience. Um, 
to the point where you are so fried by the end of the day. Right, the yeah. first 12, and we didn't even stay the full 12 hours. I mm-hmm. think we did like maybe 10, maybe. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Those 12 hours are long. And then um, they, they'll usually take a break at some point, have a conference just so that you and your clinical faculty and the rest of the students that are assigned to that unit, right. um, you can kind of decompress, share stories, <laughs> just like, okay, this is what I learned. This is what I saw. Right. This is how I kind of, overcame it or learned from it or what I'm going to do in the future. So that way everyone can kind of gain experience from each other's mm-hmm. learning opportunities. Right. Mm-hmm. right. But it's long. Yeah. <laughs> like and and because hours. you're so on, you're so, so you're tense. Tense, tense the mm-hmm. whole time that, uh, so draining. Yeah, it is <laughs> yeah, draining. Yeah. On the best of days, the worst of days, you go home and you're like, I, I mean, I was, nobody trying, talked to me. No, I know. And I was trying <laughs> to like, make disturb. a little journal right. of all the things. Like I just thought, oh, this will be so nice to have a little log of all my clinicals. Yeah. It lasted two weeks. Dear I diary. Like, <laughs> I'm too tired for this. I don't yeah. care. Right. I don't, I couldn't tell you what I did a minute ago. I survived. I, I, survived. Yeah. <laughs> I got home. Period. Safely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I think that would be worthwhile, but it's just, right. it's okay to be exhausted though, especially those first times it gets easier, but holy it's crap. So much easier. Yeah. Right. By now, 12 hours doesn't feel nearly no. as bad. It, yeah. it feels just fine. The same yeah. as eight did before nursing school. Exactly. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So kind of going off of that, you've obviously kind of touched on the staff that you've encountered, whether that be um, staff at the hospital, so maybe sometimes maybe a not so pleasant experience mm-hmm. with a nurse who might not be excited to have you yeah. that day. Um, I'm sure though you've had nurses who have been very excited to have you and who have really wanted to pour into you. Can any of y'all talk about that kind of experience that you may have had? I'm ha- yeah, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> so I I think you you get a mixed bag, and certainly like different clinical locations have reputations right. UTMB I mean a lot of those nurses were UTMB nursing students they get they, it they and come here and they stay here yeah <laughs> and they are used to the orange and they're and they're so grateful to have you right. and I actually wasn't ever placed at UTMB specifically so mm-hmm. uh, I but that's the reputation I've heard about right um but then there's other places that maybe are a little bit more um uh, quiet about it and just like, mm-hmm. but I've, I, I think there's a very big element of you get what you give. Right. And when mm-hmm. I'm sitting there, like I am engaged, I am ready. I'm taking notes during a report. I'm asking questions. They see that you want to learn. They see that I want to yes. learn. Yep. And sometimes they're like, she's too much. But most <laughs> of the time. I would never say that about you, Morgan. Oh, that's so nice. You might be the only one who's <laughs> never said that. It's fine. Um, but I think that's the, a lot of times if you ask a question, they're going to be like, yeah, this is why. And what do you think about this? Like right. there's mm-hmm. a yes and element to it that uh, I know I would be sitting in clinical and be really engaged and there would be another nursing student, whether it was from UTMB or from a different place, because you will overlap with other mm-hmm. nursing schools um, who maybe wasn't as engaged that day and mm-hmm. our days looked different just right. wholly different based off of an attitude too it was mm-hmm. it's an attitude mm-hmm. and it's a so when you maybe don't feel super wanted by your nurse mm-hmm. I think it's important to put out those bids for connection whether it's well w- how long have you been working here or you know yeah. it doesn't have to be personal right. it can be you can ask about their kids or whatever but it's also trying to get an understanding of the floor and show your interest because it's not fun to teach someone who is unengaged. Right. Why would I? Well, I'm just like pulling teeth. So <laughs> it's gonna uh-huh. be a long day. Yeah. <laughs> and so when I'm like, hey, um, is it okay if I take the vitals for this morning, mm-hmm. um, and like a really show initiative? Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. think it, it's it's a really good way to get either onto the good side of a nurse that wasn't super interested or stay on the good like, side. Like, oh, I, yeah. I actually, maybe I do want this student. Maybe exactly. I want that. Maybe yeah. I do want to teach yeah. her a little bit. Right. And, and I've heard nurses be like, oh, I'm so grateful that I had the student today because my day was crazy. Um, and, and you were an extra set of hands. And exactly. Right. Mm-hmm. And, I, you know, even if it's turning the patient and, uh, you know, doing I's and O's, that stuff is right. so helpful, helpful for them. So mm-hmm. I, I think it is a lot about what you give to it. Right. Yes. And, yeah, like what Morgan said, I just want to piggyback to Yeah. It from what she said, like, you really have to be willing, coming into clinical, you really have to be willing to learn. And, right. like, nurses will see that willingness and mm-hmm. 
they will be more, you know, receptive to you, receptive right. and more, more inclined to right. teaching you stuff and letting you do the skills that that you may want to, you know, you know, to practice. And right. I guess um, also there's also an element like when I come into clinicals, like I kind of test the waters on my nurse, like because <laughs> I'm I'm really nosy. Like I like to <laughs> ask so many questions. What's your favorite food? Can you give me your social? Everything. No. <laughs> <laughs> Those are normal questions. Right? Uh-huh. <laughs> name, name, you know, just basics. You I gotta guess. connect in a personal <laughs> level. <laughs> right. <laughs> but yeah, but I like to test the waters on my nurses. Like when I come in, yeah. and then they assign me to a pay, uh, to a nurse. Um, you know, that's I kinda, smart. Yeah, like a vibe check. Yeah, like a vibe check. <laughs> like I, and I want and I'm vibe meter. Like is our, are I'm we vibing or my not? nosiness to a level that you know they <laughs> can tolerate. Right? Yeah. So and. Again, like you really have to be a go getter too. Like yeah. if there's an opportunity, you don't you don't want to don't miss just it. sit don't yeah. just sit back. Yes, yeah. chase it. Yes, if you have yeah. like a, a a procedure that you can observe, whether a surgery or whatnot, go for it. Yeah. Right. Like if you have a skill, like IV starts. That's so true. And like anything, I, I, th- I think go for it. in in TDCJ, what, by the time we were able to do IVs, I would like put Let out me stick to everyone. the whole uh-huh. whole <laughs> the whole floor. I was yeah. like, if anybody. If anybody has an IV start, you come today, find me. You, you yes. talk to me. Put in the whiteboard, yeah. like, hey, like, yeah, contact me when. And, and, and <laughs> find burnt orange scrubs exactly. for IV. Exactly. Yes. And, and if I, because they don't know what you can and can't do or what you're excited exactly. to do, right. and you really need to, to be able out. to advocate mm-hmm. for yeah. yourself mm-hmm. for sure. And it worked. It did. We all got practice, <laughs> yeah. all got practice doing yeah. that. And. Mm-hmm. That's the only way you get better at it is exactly. practicing. Practice. No, like it, a, a real arm is real different than the rubber arms we get in lab for exactly. sure. <laughs> and like, not the ketchup blood yeah. that they put in the arms. Mm-hmm. That stuff stains. <laughs> yeah. um, I will say, though, with what Mel was saying, like you kind of have to like vibe check your nurse. I also want to note that we are learning – um, in class, very textbook elements. Right, and yeah. in the real world, there are things that maybe people do a little differently because it's practical. Maybe there are people taking shortcuts. Mm-hmm. It's right. really hard to navigate that, I think. Yeah. Um, I had people who... Like learning how to cut it off. Like, right, like yes. I, it, it's the kind of thing where is that something that's just saving time that is okay to do? Right. Or is that skipping steps that aren't, like, <laughs> that we don't Are we doing it? best mm-hmm. practice? Or right. Right. right, and that was something that I really struggled with, um... When I was at TDCJ, it, um, it it's set up a little bit differently because uh, there's there's inmates and they're your patients, but they're the guards inmates and right. you're they're behind locked doors. And so there were a lot of really nitty gritty kind of details about how to interact with the patients that was mm-hmm. different. But then sometimes, um, you know, they there would be like all their meds on their uh, their cow, their computer on wheels mm-hmm. and uh I, I was like, okay, I'm not sure if that's, you know, I didn't want to take away any bad habits. Yeah. And so I think there's also an element, learn everything you can, but also like- Be on guard kind of. Be on guard yeah, right. and right. be aware. Uh, this is actually something I remember. I was um, at MD Anderson and I they had always pulled up meds in the med room and uh, taken them to the bedside. There's nothing wrong with that, but um, they need to be labeled if you're not, preparing them at the bedside. Right. Mm-hmm. I hadn't seen them labeled once. Right. And mm-hmm. so when I was doing a checkoff with my clinical faculty, uh, she pulled me aside and said, I, you did, uh, you know, that was great. All's great. But just so you know, you got you called out seen on this. It. Right. 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 But those have to be labeled. And you, c- if you're drawing up meds, they need to be at the bedside or they're labeled. And right. I, I was like, I don't, I couldn't tell you where the labels were. I didn't right. even know what that looked but like. But now you'll never forget that. I, I would never forget it. Right. But that was something that like, I didn't know enough to know that that was not right. Right. Mm-hmm. And, or not really. I mean, we learned the, the six rights kind of thing. I should have, yeah. I should have clocked it, but I, I just, right. I'd seen it over and over and over and over and over. And so I do think, yeah, there's an element of being on guard with clinical that um, you can learn lots of tips and tricks, but you do still want to like, the Be world is not like a textbook, but right. you, you want to start off your nursing career as doing uh, doing it the slow way so that then you can learn the best ways to maybe quicken up your practice without skipping steps. Right. I don't yes, want to right. learn it with the skipped steps because then you don't know they existed. No. Mm-hmm. So, no. Kind of yeah. to tag on to that, yeah. uh, I feel like each facility kind of develops their own habits and shortcuts and things that are very prevalent there. And so having that opportunity to shadow at a whole bunch of different facilities, you can kind of see where those shortcuts are, where 
where you want to be as a nurse later I on. I really liked um, the clinical placements that we get because we have access to UTMB. And, and I've said this to you before, Lauren. Right. I love that we have Shriners, UTMB, and TDCJ on here. kind of, they're right here <laughs> right. on the island. Literally. And we aren't getting other nursing students, other schools aren't getting that mm. opportunity. No. And mm. then we also have all, the all of the downtown. Else. Yeah. Um, so we have, we have all the normal locations plus all of the UTM world, right. UTMB world, all of Shriners, all, and like TDCJ. That's uh, so unique. So unique. It's uh-huh. one of Where the only. Where do you only, get that? Nowhere it's the else. Only like a uh, prison hospital on a university campus in the country. I think. Mm. Like it was. That's nuts. It's nuts. And so. And you get to. I think do rotations. That there. was That's the cool. best because we have, I think, the best perspective on the varied sites right. of right. anywhere. And yeah. that, I'm so grateful for you that. You dabbled everywhere. Exactly. Yeah. And Genuinely. literally, I didn't love from. the commute. But <laughs> I, you know, am grateful that I got to go right. every anywhere and everywhere. Right. Uh-huh. Yeah. The commute is part of the journey, though. <laughs> it's, it's part of the process. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, so kind of, you know, obviously part of the clinical experience is doing simulations in the HEC and, and, and labs and preparing yourself before you go to clinicals, yeah. right? Um, Liam, can you kind of talk about, I guess – doing those kind of things in the HEC, the simulations, the labs, the interprofessional education, and kind of comparing that to being in the actual clinical setting at the hospital. Yeah, sure. So when you're in the hospital, you're going to have to work with people of all uh, specialties, all education levels. Just there's a reason why we're all specialized in what we are. Mm -hmm. And the HEC was really unique in that it gave us a chance to kind of practice that. Right before we got there. And let me actually pause. My bad. Didn't even explain the HEC. So our HEC is our health education center, which is like our, what would y'all call it? Like student center, sim hospital. Um, Most of our classes are there. And then also our labs. So there's laboratory rooms and then simulation rooms. Yes. Yes. It simulates a whole hospital and there's OR rooms. There's ICUs, but there's also like a living room there for the, <laughs> yes. the PT like a waiting yeah. lobby yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so it has all the all the goodies in there yeah kind of like the main classroom section plus also the like cultural hub here on at, yeah on right. campus uh-huh. right um for all the different schools we so spend a lot of time in the HEC yeah. do so sorry to interrupt you Liam I just fine. totally realized I jumped into HEC without even explaining what it was oh, that's fine that's <laughs> fine but yeah uh so they have the big simulation labs there yeah. they have a simulation for just about anything you could possibly want right. um, everything from an ambulance bay, which we used on disaster day, to you know a birthing mother, a birthing mother, yeah, birthing literally. center, yeah. to a living room, so you could practice doing care in the home, mm-hmm. like everything, yeah. right? Um, and you get to use all of that. They're very, yeah. very good about letting you practice, right? Which is where you were talking about that interprofessional education, working with the different disciplines. Um, and y'all do that in the HEC, right? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. We um, we had a mock uh, cardiac arrest code Ooh. that we got to do with That's you know, stressful. everybody from across <laughs> the, yeah. 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 But it's good, you know, everyone's there learning. It, it does not go smoothly, but you know, that's, that's <laughs> yeah. the point. And it's not, not smooth because, like, if things are, I mean, we have great equipment. Mm-hmm. All of that's right. great. They don't want it to go smoothly because. They want you to learn. You're, right. If mm-hmm. you're going to have a coding patient, it's better that the coding patient doesn't actually have a heart. Oh, right. Yeah. You want mm-hmm. them to be a fake. Yeah. Pa- yeah. <laughs> um, but I mean, it, but in the moment, it feels so intense. It I've does. definitely cried after simulation before. Are you serious? Yeah, it was great. I was fine. I just, I didn't, didn't you weren't feel re- great <laughs> You weren't it. mentally prepared for <laughs> it's that. Not, it's not. Um, I should have studied a little bit more before that. Uh-huh. But, but that's, yeah, you that, get thrown into these situations that, the stress feels real, it feels but real. that's good yes. because you get used to it, and yeah. then suddenly when you're thrown into the situation, like I was thrown into a code during Capstone. With a real person. Right. With a real person, yes. yeah. Mm-hmm. I'd rather um, cry after simulation than cry after clinical. Yeah. yeah. yeah it feels yeah. way less scary. Yeah, right. absolutely. Or, or you just felt more prepared. You had yeah. already been through the situation, so you were able to be a little bit maybe more calm. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Well, just you, know the direction things were going to go, right. so that way I knew where I could place myself so right. I wasn't in the way and right. also could be helpful. Right. So it's like basically what you're saying is – you know, being in the H- yeah, being in the yeah. HEC is very beneficial mm, yeah. for when you yeah. are thrown into the real world of well, the clinical experience. We, we get to debrief with people who had eyes on us. So the what 
the simulations are is you're, there's a mannequin in the room. They breathe and their eyes move. They're very creepy. creepy. Don't want to be there at night. Very <laughs> creepy. Um, and they, you walk in and you hand hygiene and you introduce yourself. And there is a person in another room in the depths of the HEC who has eyes on you. There's cameras in the room. But they are speaking for the patient and they are, you know, talking about the food that they want or they're, you know, whatever they're doing. And you are assigned roles. So sometimes you, if you got really lucky, you could be like the worried mom. And right. I loved playing the worried mom. I was <laughs> great. At that. You were a great well, worried mom. I can do that one. I never <laughs> cried after that simulation. No, or you would be the charge nurse or uh, the, the head nurse um, of that patient, or- secondary nurse. Um, right. Or a PCT, and so right. everyone worked together. That's and, awesome. Um, but so you were in there working with this patient, and they are talking to you. And but it's your professor, and so your professor will come out, or whoever is your leader will come out and be like, "All right, so you did this, and I really liked this element." But note that none of this got done, or right. uh, and so everything that you, I know I do a lot of things at clinical wrong, but I don't necessarily have someone. In mm-hmm. the heavens, watching, <laughs> right. you, yes. listening, um, and, and talking telling, to you hey, from the sky, <laughs> and telling me like, "Hey, by the way, this is right. something that you maybe missed, right. um, or and things that we didn't even realize mm-hmm. um, that we missed." And right. so, simulation was, yeah, it was a really safe space to to do that. Yes. But man, does it feel real! It, it really, does. and they those breathing like. Oh, and you have to listen, and sometimes you can't get it right. It's a rubber patient, yeah. and it's like, I don't know what I'm hearing, but it doesn't sound great. I don't Technical know. Technical difficulty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, uh, no, it's, it is, it's a great opportunity. It's very yeah. cool. And yeah. that, that mm-hmm. building opened in, oh gosh, 2019, I think. Oh. Um, yeah, does that sound right, guys? Yeah. It's super new. Did you yeah. read your notes? No. <laughs> That's all I know. Um, so it's still relatively new, and so it has, like, all of the new technology mm-hmm. in it. So yeah. you are learning with, I mean, very expensive equipment. Yeah, no, <laughs> so I it's mean, not just in the lab. Stuff. A lot of the, pa- the the our professors would be like, just don't touch those ones because they're expensive <laughs> yeah. and they're above. It's the our, Louis Vuitton right. of, of uh-huh. standard. Like, like don't wet the napkin. Right, uh, don't right. don't wet the mannequin. Yeah. Like, oh no. No, right. you do not use iodine please. on those pants. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do not do it. And pins, right? No right. pens. No pens. Yeah, no. but it's like there were the high fidelity ones, right. um, and there were levels of those as well. I think like the OR ones are even more so. But I mean, there's kid mannequins. There's birthing, birthing mannequins. Mothers. There's yeah. baby mannequins. Mm-hmm. There's so much. So yeah. it is a really good opportunity. Um, and I, I kind of think go into that and really like send it. Like do it as if it like. Be confident. Yeah. And mm-hmm. play up the roles because like it's way more interesting and helpful when you actually have a really worried mother. Like it's really <laughs> yes. helpful. And more yes. can place a very I good very worried good mother. Yes. Mother. Own up to your role. Yeah. Like, yes. <laughs> You want me to be the head nurse? Mm, but I'll be that worried I'll, mom. Yeah. I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> and also, rumor has it they're working on uh, increasing virtual reality mm-hmm. for simulations. Yeah. 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 There's a whole room in, in the HCC that they're kind of testing and adapting that stuff. And That's we got awesome. to try that, and that was wild as well. Yeah, um, exciting. There's a lot of cool technology that we get our hands on, yeah. and that only helps with the clinical right. element. Um we, we really do feel a little bit more like, oh, I knew that from that. Thing. Right, mm-hmm. right. But, um, we like our students. We want y'all to learn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One thing about clinical, I will say, is when you're doing your didactic, you're studying, I remember second semester adult two is pretty tough. We've talked about that in other episodes. Right. But, um, I had a lot of patients with like liver issues mm-hmm. um, and ascites, and I got to see a paracentesis, and they're, you know, removing fluid off of a patient's abdomen and I was able to take all of that information from clinical and use it as kind of my model in my head of what that looked like so I didn't have to memorize symptoms yeah right. maybe some that and then you were ready for your test but right but mm-hmm. that was something like try and connect the dots because right. all of those it's so much easier to think about that one patient I had and what we did for his ascites right. versus 
figure um, a on page 137 like like if if i can remember the fluid wave that happened on his belly i don't have to remember what the belly is supposed to do if they Mm -hmm. have ascites i felt it i saw it it exists you had the hands on Mm -hmm. experience as opposed to memorizing a bullet list so making those connections i think is a really helpful mode in asking those questions in clinical and being like hey we just learned about this thing but i'm a little bit confused about this part right um, I think will also like really help your clinical experience go um, a lot more um, deep and productive. Helpful. Productive, yeah. that's a yeah. good word. And yeah. like, yeah, all of these aspects are are intertwined to each other. Like right. mm-hmm. class, clinicals, lab, sims, everything is intertwined with each other. I right. think as a student, you really have to figure out like how to incorporate all the stuff you've learned from all of these. And make the know, connections. And yeah. make the connections. No wonder we're so tired all the time. Exactly. <laughs> we're trying to make the connections. All the time. Yeah. <laughs> Is your marker out from <sighs> connecting the dots? Yeah. That's mm-hmm. pretty funny, right? <laughs> <laughs> laugh track. <laughs> <laughs> we are the laugh track. <laughs> um, so obviously clinical is just, I mean, what I'm gathering is that's such an important part of your process yeah. mm-hmm. of coming through the nursing school and of making the connections and yeah. and helping to make sure that when you do graduate which you are all very close, very close. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you are you feel more confident like and like Morgan said you're always learning so it's not like you're graduating with every single piece <laughs> of information that you need because your nursing is an ever-evolving yeah. thing you're you never know everything yeah. Yeah. Um, but at least with the clinical experiences you are able to then feel a little bit more confident yeah. um, to step out into that first job and be like I might not know everything but I've had all these experiences mm-hmm. so I do have that level of confidence yeah. now I think it makes it fun yeah. I think mm-hmm. it's the part it's it you you get to see your growth in clinical I think the most of anything right. and right. it's also the the hopefully what you want to do it hopefully you find it really like exciting because that's what you want to do right. and yeah. and so it's kind of the reward after sitting in uh, in your room and studying <laughs> for a week once a week or later on more right. you get to go to clinical and actually like apply it and be on the floor and and really hands on see and what right. you're learning. And not have to play worried mom. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm not attending anymore. I have a patient that I can get blankets. Yeah. And cold water. Cold water. There you go. I have that memorized now. Thank you. I'm going to use it. I told you I use that joke I, a lot. I'm never in the clinical setting, but yeah. if I was, <laughs> I know what to do. That's right. I really hope you carry that into your nursing career. Yeah. I can. Oh, can, can you imagine the first day? Hi, I'm your nurse. And, and all I know how to And warm like. <laughs> and that's it. That's Don't it. ask anything else. Hope you're well. <laughs> Uh, so does anybody have I guess any final thoughts on on the clinical experience or something you you would like to you know tell someone who is maybe nervous about the clinical experience or or maybe something that you just feel like you've really gained um, just in summary of Mm -hmm. what you learned during clinical yeah yeah I mean it's okay to be stressful it's okay to be nervous but at the end of the day try to put the best version of yourself when you're in um, clinicals. Mm-hmm. Um, you don't know, like, like when, you know, that person who you're, you're working, working with is going to be your reference in the future. Mm-hmm. Hello, yes. You know? <laughs> yeah. 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 But, yeah, I think just be, just show up as your authentic self, mm-hmm. and then they're going to see and, you know, try to engage with you and right. be willing to learn and be a go-getter. Yeah. Liam, yeah. what you, what you think? Clinicals can be wonderful experiences if you're willing to put in the effort for yeah. it. Um, it really is, to sum up what the other two have said, mm-hmm. you get what you put into it. Yeah. yeah. And if you're willing to put more into it, it you can come away with so much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Morgan? Yeah, I think really in in saying in a different way, like, the your clinic, you have to go to these clinicals. Right. You're no matter there. what. <laughs> and so you can spend your time sitting unengaged on your phone and mm-hmm. be bored to tears right. mm-hmm. or you can use it to get as much as you can out of it some people would like want to study and i'm like you yeah. know that the patient in there is the best study hello exactly. right yeah. um and so i think yeah it's it is you get what you put in and right. uh you have to be there so make it like get the most you can out right. of it and it's your right. choice you yeah know. it right. is it is no one's forcing you <laughs> yeah. right right yeah well, thank you all so much for coming in and chatting yeah. today about the clinical experience. Yeah. I know that as always, we get so many questions about that. Mm-hmm. Open house, mm-hmm. 
yeah. you know, all that kind of good stuff. So really appreciate y'all coming in and sure. recalling your experiences. There are a lot yeah. of them. Yeah. <laughs> so very impressed you could remember all the sites. I wouldn't be able to. Well, but. we went a lot. <laughs> we got you tested no on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a test later, yeah. so yeah. be ready. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, thank you all so much for being here. And thank you for our listeners for tuning in to today's episode. And we hope to have you back on our next subject. Thanks so much. You've been listening to Nursing School Chronicles, brought to you by the University of Texas Medical Branch School of Nursing. For more information, please reach out to the UTMB School of Nursing Admissions and Student Affairs Office. Our number is 409-772-8271, or visit us on our website at nursing.utmb.edu. All of the opinions expressed on this podcast are the opinions of those speaking and do not reflect the policies or stances of the University of Texas Medical Branch School of Nursing in Galveston.